turn the screen here for just a second, just so you can get a sense of how fast this train is going. Now, of course, we would hit a little wall there, but you can see the wall going by really fast. Well, we got to turn it the other way. I hope you don't get too dizzy and, and like, car sick or anything like this. But look out the window. I mean, it's going like hell. I mean, it's... Uh, I came to... I started uh, coming to England, uh, I guess, six or seven years ago, maybe even eight years ago. Uh, and I flew into Gatwick. And I had to go up north of London to a place called Hertfordshire. And anyway, actually, the town was called Ware, so that actually became a really fun place to be from, you know, getting to the airport and going through security. Did you pack your bags? Yes, where? Where? Uh, sir, did you pack my these your bags? Yes, they're my bags. Did you pack your own bags? Yes, I did. Where? Where? Um, sir. And I kept it up until they uh, called security. Uh, and when I did that, I confess that I uh, did it at WARE, W-A-R-E, but I was uh, instructed to go from Gatwick, Gatwick Express to the tube system of London uh, to a place called Liverpool Street and catch a train to WARE um, up in Hertfordshire. And I'm used to the Swiss trains. So I've lived in Switzerland half of the last 20 years. And when you get on a train, usually the little second hand goes and the train leaves when it's supposed to leave. Uh, which can be frustrating at times if you're just that much late. But I get to the uh, Liverpool Street Station, and there's Pickpockets Haven, man. It's these people standing with their hands out of the pocket, looking absolutely stupid, like like they're sun gazing or something. But it's at this big board that has all the trains on it. And I'm not sure which is my train, so I walk over to the, one of the ladies, a really, really friendly uh, British lady, and I say, you know, I, this is where I'm going, and I don't know how to find where I'm going. She said, well, okay, here's the name of the train. And she said, watch that. And she said, before it, the time that it's supposed to leave comes up, there will be a rail that will tell you which track to go to. So I stood watching and watching and waiting and watching the clock click and watching the clock click past the time when the train was supposed to leave. And I kept looking at it, and there was still no track. So I walked over, and I was feeling rather touristy and stupid and uh, tired because I had been traveling all night. And I walked over and said, maybe I'm really stupid. Oh, we're back in another tunnel. I may have to speak up a bit. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Here's my zoom in. That's my zoom in. Um, but I said to her, I've waited. The time has gone. The time has passed. And there's still not any indication as to what track I should get on to. And uh, she got laughing. And she said, well, yeah, it's on track. And she told me the number. She said, you're going to have to really hurry a little bit because the train is leaving. just, you know, real soon. And I looked at her and I said, um, are you train, is your train system always this inefficient? And she looked and she said, oh no dear, people were getting killed on the trains in the fall. <laughs> and it was true, trains kept going off the tracks and people were getting killed, so I felt really fortunate when I was on the train, uh, kind of. Uh, but that was my first England train, London, uh, to anywhere else experience. This is not a new one, like I said, and it's going like hell, we're in a tunnel. Uh, talk to you soon.